Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and start working with the products reviews. And in this one, we're going to be creating reviews, listing out reviews. I'm going to be writing a whole lot of cool functions that's going to perform a whole lot of cool operations for us. So if you want to see more videos like this, do make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing that I'm, I'm going to do is go ahead and open up my browser and I'm going to open up the admin section over here. And if you take a close look, then you'd see there is this model over here that is called product review, right? So I'm just going to scroll down. You see this one over here, product review. So I'm going to open this up and I want to add a couple of reviews for some products. So I'm going to say it's Destiny that's actually going to make this review. And the products that we want to drop a review on is the fresh pair. And we're going to say this is a really fresh pair, something like that. So I'm going to say this is a really fresh pair. OK, and let's say we want to actually give it um, three stars. OK. Hopefully you you know how it says it's up from the from the models in the in the former videos. Now I'm gonna go ahead and save this. So right now you can see that we have a review. So what I, I want to do is go ahead and list out this review here in this um in this review section. Okay. So how do we do that? Now I'm simply gonna open up my code editor and I'm gonna navigate to the views of py and in the product detail view I want to write a simple query that's gonna get all the view okay I'm just gonna say getting all reviews okay so I'm gonna define a variable and I'm gonna call it reviews okay so this is gonna be a lowercase r and um, I'm just gonna grab this and put it down here now reviews should be equal to then I'm simply gonna pass in product review dot object dot filter so I want to filter the reviews by each product that the user is trying to access. So I'm going to say products should be equal to products. So what does this line mean? We simply wrote product review and this re product review is simply the one that we've got in our model over here, as you can see. Now, if you take a close look at the fields, then you're going to see that there's this one that's called products that actually have um, a foreign key to the products model. Now, one thing that I'd want to add here is a related underscore names. And what, I, what I'm simply going to add is products okay or rather let's just let's just call that reviews okay reviews i'm just gonna add uh oh that is a problem so um i'm just gonna get back to the views and uh, this is the review that we are looking for in the model i'm just gonna pass that in here and pass in an s reviews okay so now that product over here is this one that we got and now we're trying to get all the reviews related to a particular product so we say the product which is the one in the model should be equal to this product that we are getting over here okay so now when we've done that what i could simply do is just go ahead and pass in the the review in here i'm just gonna pass in review okay what's going on so I could just copy this review that we created and I'm going to I'm going to put it over here as simple as that. So now when this is done, now I could go ahead and run a for loop on this review and get all the reviews related to a product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up product detail with HTML and I want to look for the review section. So I'm going to search for customer questions and answers. That's what I'm looking for. Actually, now I want to delete all those dummy reviews and stick with only one. Okay, so how do we do that? I'm gonna look for the for the div that's holding the reviews, and this is customer review. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more. This one is form. So what I could just search for is CNL. So I'm gonna search for CNL, and that's how over there. Now from here, I'm gonna start closing up all the div with a single comment um, class. So I think you should do three. Now that's pretty much it so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this and we need to run a for loop firstly i'm gonna start by ending the four and i say say it earlier you don't necessarily need to do that you could do whatever you want now i ended the four now i'm also gonna say for r i'm gonna say for r in what reviews okay so we need to make sure that that's what we called it over here we call this review you know we could actually go ahead and pass in an s over there and passing an s because it would be more than one review which is going to make its reviews okay so i'm going to say for r in a review now if we refresh this we should see only one okay so i'm going to refresh this one more time and i'm just going to scroll up and go over to the reviews now what you notice we got us one okay so now let's go ahead and change up all the all the dummy data that we got in there so for the cnr that one is going to be the name of the person making the review and i'm going to say r.user.username pipe title which is going to capitalize the first text over there and for the dates when they created the review i would want to add a date field okay we already have a date field that's actually nice 
so in the I'm gonna close this off I don't think I need this for anything what I'm gonna be needing now is the product detail that's it so we need to get rid of this date and add our own date okay so I'm just gonna get rid of this date and I'm gonna say r dot date then I'm gonna fill that as date I'm gonna say pipe date and how do I want to get the date I want to get it by day month and year okay so I'd highly recommend you play around with that to see what suits you best okay and also for this one over here I'm gonna go ahead and pass in the review text I'm gonna say r dot review which is the text itself okay so I'm just gonna um, this should be it over here so I'm, I'm gonna say r dot review okay now that's pretty much it let's come over here and refresh one more time and hopefully we don't have any error but there is an error it says invalid filter data so um okay this is supposed to be date and not data okay so that's supposed to be date hopefully you you found out earlier before me now, if we come over here and come over to reviews, what do you notice? This is a very fresh pair. And what we could do is go ahead and comment out this reply. I don't think we need it. Or uh, if you guys want to see like a reply functionality, then drop a comment. I'm going to make a video about that. Okay. So now when we've done this, I think that's pretty much what I want to do. Apart from the fact that we also need an image. Okay. So to get an image, I'm going to use a dummy image for now. What I simply want to do is connect to the internet. Make sure you are connected. And I want to search for defaults. There's it over here, default profile image. And um, I usually love using this one. So I'm just going to grab this. And um, I don't know why it's taking some time to open up. Hopefully, I've got a connection. Okay, that's it. Okay, while that's loading up, I'm just going to get back here and refresh. So, okay, you guys already see that this what's showing up. And now for this rating over here, we need to actually pass in a couple of things. But before we do that, let's count how many reviews that we'll get, that we've, that we've got for the product. And let's display it over here, okay? So um, what we could do is just look for the for this 32 reviews. I think that's no, that's not it. This is reviews three. So that's what I'm looking for. Reviews three. Okay, what I could do is actually go ahead and search reviews three. Okay, that's it. Reviews three. For, so instead of putting in this tree over here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open curly brackets in there and I'm going to say reviews dot count. Okay. Now let's refresh this and see what we've got. Okay. What well, do you notice now we got one review. So how about I want to try to add another review for the fresh pair. I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to say the person that's adding this review is whoever that I don't know. And they added the review on the fresh pair and I'll say this is amazing. And let's say they want to give it five stars. Then we're going to go ahead and save this. Okay, so now what do you notice if we come over here and refresh, then you're going to see two reviews. Okay, so that's that's it for this one. Now, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and get the latest comment to, to, to be the one, the first one at the top. And in order to do that, where we are getting the reviews, you just want to say dot order by, then we're going to say minus date. So this is going to order by the one that has the latest date there. So while this is still refreshing, let's take a close look at it i think it's done refreshing what do you notice this one is at the top now so for the dummy image i guess my image is done opening up i'm just going to copy the image address and uh, open up the products detail and we should put it in the i'm just going to search for dot reviews and we should put it in here so this way we want to put it i'm just going to paste that in there so i want you guys to know that in, in the future videos we're going to be creating a, pro a profile section and we are not going to be putting dummy images for users over here we're going to be allowing the user to show up their image if they've got anyone okay so now when we've done this um i think the next thing that we are going to do is go ahead and create the average so this average over here we need to go ahead and create it now i'm going to come over to views.py and in order to do that i'm just going to be say i'm just going to say get in um average reviews okay so getting average uh oh i'm gonna say getting average reviews so I'm, I'm gonna grab this and paste it getting a reviews related to a product so this one is getting average review now how do we do that you can call this one whatever you want but i want to call my average rating and um for this one i'm simply gonna say product review dot object product review dot object and um we could just go with dot filter 
so for this one there's a lot of things you could do you could use annotate but i, I just want to stick with the easiest way to do this and i'm gonna say products should be equal to products this is what we did from from before over here right where we got all the reviews related to a product now we're getting all the rating related to a product then we want to go ahead and aggregate it you know and get the average of each and every one of those rating that exists for that product so we're gonna say aggregate and we're gonna pass in rating so this rating over here is you can call this one whatever you want but i'm gonna call i'm gonna call avg so average is something that would want to import from count i'm gonna say import avg so we're importing it from django.db.models okay so when that's done i'm gonna get average of rating and what rating do i want to get or what field do i want to check an average on i want to check an average on the rating field so let me explain what's going on you will call this one wherever you want because this is the one we're going to be asked okay i think that should be this one but this rating over here is pretty much this one that we've got in our models which is this one over here so let's say you want to get the average review or the average date or the average user but what you choose is any of this um or any of those variables over here but i want to use rating okay i want to get the average rating so that's why i'm using rating over here okay so that's that's pretty much it i'm just gonna go ahead and and pass in the average rating into this place just like that and in order to get the average rating what we're simply gonna do is go ahead and open up the the product detail so open up the products detail this is it over here and we need to look for the the average section okay so the average rating i'm just gonna keep scrolling down till i get to this part i'm gonna get to this part over here so that should be customer reviews i'm gonna say customer reviews okay that's it now this is 4.8 out of 5 but that's not what i want what i actually want is um average underscore rating out of five but now let's refresh this and see what we got what we've got down here so if we come over here now what do you notice we got rating 4.0 out of five okay so down this is what we've got over here but how about if i come over to this rating field and i'm gonna open up this guy over here and let's say this one want to give them one star let's actually see if that if that actually changed the 4.0 to something that's going to be lower so if we refresh this come over to reviews now what do you notice 2.0 out of 5 so this is actually getting the average okay but now we don't want to get this in this dictionary but we just want to get only the 2.0 so we're gonna say dot rating okay and now there's gonna be um a lot of problem if a if different users start putting in different ratings okay and what do i mean by that i'm gonna come over to products and i want to add a new review i'm just gonna fill this in with whatever i want and for this i'm gonna change this to fresh pair i'm gonna go ahead and save that now, if I come over here and refresh this one and check out the review one more time. Now, what do you notice? This is the error that I want. So as you can see, this I've got a lot of floats over here at the back. Now, how do we limit this to only one? Okay, it's like 5.0 or 2.0, whatever. For that one, we need to use a, a filter called float format. So I'm gonna say floats, and that should be format. And if we say floats format just like that and refresh. Now, if you take a close look, then you're gonna see that it's actually fixed it. It says 2.7 out of five. But if you wanna be more explicit, let's say you, you just need two floats at the back, just passing two. Then if you refer to this, you're gonna see something like 2.6 something or seven. As you can see, 2.67, okay, it's got two of it. So if what you need is only one, just stick with one, okay? Now I'm gonna say out of 5.0. So I think that's pretty much it for the average and um i'm gonna come over here and refresh that's it 2.7 so guys as you can see um over here now we have 2.7 out of 50 we can display all the reviews over here as you can see and um i think that's pretty much it and if you want to change this one over here you could go ahead and check how the stats are calculated three star four star five star then you could just change up all this if you want they are pretty much easy to change all you need to do is just come over here and change 50 percent 25 percent and also change it for this one okay so i think that's going to be it for this video in the next one we're going to go ahead and start using this form over here to create reviews and we're going to be doing that using jquery ajax so we don't have to refresh this page if we want to add a review it's automatically going to get appended and we're going to close out this form and and we're also going to check if a user have added a review then they are not going to be able to add a review again so make sure to drop a like on this video consider subscribing as to really mean the world to me and until the next video where we're going to go ahead and start creating this mad love peace out peace out